Hey everyone, I hope this is working. Um, so I was going to stream about two hours ago um, using the, what do you call it, the Twitch uh, beta stre um, streaming app, but um, I've gone to OES and I've basically taken a crash course on how to work this, so fingers crossed it works and I will develop this channel a little bit more over time. Uh, but getting into my favourite games now, um, we're going to go into Company of Heroes. Uh, fingers crossed this works. Like I say, I've only got the one monitor. I have mucked with the sound, so um, again, hoping this works. Right, so uh, this is the original Company of Heroes. Came out back in 2007, 2008. I'm going to turn the fog of war off. We're on a map called Duclair. Um, so there's myself here. Um, I am the Panzer Elite. And then we've got my ally here is the Wehrmacht. Uh, one Warhammer 1. Uh, we do have the two other players. Uh, that's Pero 98 and uh, Zyle 97. Um, okay, so a few things that we uh, want to do in Duclair. So we'll take a quick look at the map here. Now all these points um, are generally evenly spread across um, most RTSs but, um, and Company Heroes is no exception to this. So really a lot of the time the maps mirror each other so you've got uh, fuel up here, fuel down here, munitions here, fuel munitions again here, uh, munitions, fuel, uh, fuel here. So what we are doing here and what I, I generally like to do is to build a couple of um, Panzer Grenadiers, which you only get three in the beginning, and one of the things you do is you upgrade them with a Gewehr uh, 43, which makes them a lot more potent at middle and long uh, distance. Uh, I can't get rid of um, the in-game chat there, not that it uh, really matters too much, but basically that's my ally saying what doctrine um, they were going and they were going defensive doctrine which is a uh, pretty solid doctrine for uh, the Wehrmacht and most new players. Um, I think what attracts a lot of players to that is the um, there's a rocket strike and a 88mm um, cannon um, that you can build. You can build lots of them but um, again they're uh, not particularly uh, handy when you're playing against uh, more senior players because what they'll do is they'll just snipe um, they'll just snipe the crews off the guns and take them sometimes destroying them sometimes using them against you all right so what we've got here we've got, uh, our ally is trying to pin down this section here I'm trying to capture this point um, just so we have eliminated help the you. enemy once more. Um, take that, and then over this here, same thing again. We've got this point here, which I find is the most critical point on the map. It's pretty much center on, but it's also got um, basically if you control this, you control a lot of these buildings a lot of the time. Um, what you the can enemy do is attempting well. to see the fuel point from us. So just turning my sound down so I can hear myself. There we go, that's better. Um, one of the things that you can do is... Oh, cool. I can manage it from my phone. Um, is set up a very strong defensive line across this um, hill over here. Um, which is basically uh, one of those things that the... Uh, when they designed this map they were thinking of doing because they don't want um, the enemy you know, is these seizing teams, whoever they are, to be able to push up too far, too close to the base. They want um, these two teams to be able to capture these areas and these two teams to capture these areas, which are the high resource points. So as you can see here, um, these are tens and these are tens here. Burn um, them out. We now have you incendiary grenades at our disposal. Uh, as you'll see, eventually you'll put uh, um, outpost boxes on these. They'll double the amount of um, resources you get a lot of the time, or, or, or by a third, or something close to that. Anyway, um, as you can see, we've got a lot of grenadiers here. We, our our, our um, enemies are trying to pull a strategy, which the allies, allies are generally quite are good at, ground. which is um, deep capping. So they'll be capping um, the areas 
spot like well away from their lines as you can see here map control at the moment is definitely going to the allies take a look at all this take a look at what we've got here now that's not to say that um, the game's over we've lost that kind of thing um, if you take a look actually again at the units here that we've got um, they have spent a lot of manpower on snipers already which are good against the my, my team of the Panzer Elite um, however there are ways to counter this this game is purely counter 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 again um, but you don't what you don't want to do is spend nearly 600 uh, manpower in the first what are we on now the first uh, like minute no first five minutes they spent 600 manpower on the first of uh, five minutes on two snipers now usually I would only get one if I was the Americans um, this isn't a bad spot for a Mac gun either because you're in cover here like you can see that when I scroll over you got the little plus sign on the shield that means you're in heavy cover again we, we can do now have control of this so I was actually quite surprised that um, we had we had no units defending it but they had no units capping it and I think what's going on here is that they were getting upset that I was using my um, my shrimp wagon um, to cap their points in the corner here. They want this locked down. We have lost they see as the enemy's advances. Like I said before, these are the high um, points, the higher um, an enemy unit has fallen uh, to our might. The higher resource points. And what we're doing effectively we is territory. we're also cutting them off. So there we go, we've uh, just got an engineer squad, which is 260 manpower with a 50 munitions flamethrower on them. They're not attacking me. What they're doing is they're capping the space back. I'm not getting anything Our from these. Are broken. We have All these, out of but, I am, but I'm denying it to them as well, and that's the point. Is that you want to deny the enemy resources, even enemy at your own detriment. Like, you don't want to be losing... You don't want to be losing um, units over this, like this guy's just lost a unit of engineers again. Here we go. So, again, medium range, long range, these guys are very effective, especially against engineers. There you go, that's two squads of engineers that have just been lost. Now my ally is, ah, uh, here we go, yeah, my ally is using um, Fight for the Fatherland, which is a defensive doctrine. Um, there's your sniper um, and what that does is it makes you a lot more effective when you're fighting in your own area but um, as you can see from the little um, bloke over there but what it does as well is it um, means that when you are fighting your infantry lose um, lose health a lot quicker so it's a basically you lose defensive points for the price of um, uh, attacking all right, now I'm pulling back my scout car here. He's not much help. He's got an engine. Um, oh, here we go. So something's been dropped. Yep, and there we go. Sticky bomb on the back of the car. There it goes. So the point of that wasn't really to lock it down so I could get points here. It was to keep these guys busy firing at me so my ally could build this bunker here, which is very, very important um, in the later game, and you'll see why. So here we go. I've got um, a half track, which is again throwing a sticky bomb on. That won't destroy it, but it will take it down. Yep. Damage the engine, get a third of the health. Right, here's the Mac gun, um, trying to suppress anything that we've got up here. Now, now, the point of this is that I can get, it, I can resupply infantry the enemy in is this area. To seize a uh, so you've got a half track us. around. Um, resupplying infantry, you don't have to rush them back to your base, re, um, resupply them and reinforce them and then bring them all the way back out. I can do that in the field. Now, the only thing is, is that um, supply lines if are their broken, health is low, which you'll notice is, so just because I've got four um, troops in a squad here, uh, doesn't mean they're at poor, from us. Uh, health. So some of them are injured, bringing it down. This one is a full health squad. Um, and what happens, you can get up to maybe 50% sometimes uh, before you actually even lose an infantryman. It really depends on the, um, it's more dependent on the game than anything. But for example, uh, a sniper could take out one of these guys instantly, um, but the other three will remain quite well, healthy. Have been cut off. Um, so here we go, flamethrower. Flamethrowers do um, fairly wide damage. I've probably pulled these guys in too close here, but luckily for me, they retreated. They could have done quite a bit of health damage to my unit. Um, again, 
they've tried capping this, thinking that they're uh, uh, capping in depth, but really what's happening now is that they're getting stuck in the centre, they're not pushing on this flank, um, which is probably a good thing because we have nothing defending it. Although we've got this bunker here, there's no MG in it. Um, now, in this game, you can use, uh, the Wehrmacht can use bunkers quite um, effectively. Um, in its superiority once again. You can use them, you can use them in a variety, you can use them in a variety of different ways. So in this case, um, he set up a hospital bunker um, and you can see that red line under that, that's where the medics, they Even pick the up enemy um, Shermans friendly will be no injured, match for our new anti-tank um, grenades. Uh, friendly injured uh, infantry, they'll walk them back here and um, eventually what will happen once you get four, uh, four or five um, troops in there, you get a new squad of, um, of grenadiers and eventually as there's a Wehrmacht you can upgrade um, your infantry by paying for it. Um, and what will happen is they will have extremely uh, good grenadiers popping out of there um, by mid to late game um, if they're losing a lot of infantry like here. So you'll see you'll see the animation where the um, goal will go up here. Okay. So what's happened here? They've got a greyhound now. now. Um, so they've got enough fuel for the greyhound. They've they've started to build their outposts. Um, which is not a bad idea. We really need to be doing the same. I don't like building outposts or building scout cars as the Panzer Elite um, and locking, locking things down because you actually lose manpower for that. Um, whereas the Wehrmacht, my ally, he can build an outpost We're and not lose any type depot. of manpower. But the other thing is, of course, is that if I lock this down with a scout car, I get the munitions. And on top of that, um, I've got a defensive unit there um, that gets a, gets a slight defensive bonus when he is locked down. But again, he can be taken out very quickly. Um, now again, you can see we're reinforcing here, we're both defending here. Um, he's losing a lot of infantry. Now, my ally, I think this might have been a misclick. Um, he's lost the whole squad. And enemy unit, they're out of two squads. A flamethrower and a uh, squad of Volt's Grenadier. So I think he's upgraded his, his uh, infantry to the first tier now. Maybe uh, uh, here's another thing. I should so he, he has um, upgraded his infantry and his, like you can see here, his camp group centre. That's where you upgrade your um, units over time. Um, and there's the Wehrmacht you pay for that. Um, and what's happened is he's put his um, MG42 into this bunker here and one of the, there you go, there's the uh, squad of grenadiers that's come out. So what's happened here is that um, I'm actually healing this with my um, grenadiers because that's what mine can do. They're actually quite um, handy for that but um, you have to get a squad. Um, there you go, there's another one being returned by the medic. Um, you have to get a, um, a squad upgrade which allows them to repair faster and make them more effective at this. But, in saying that, um, putting the MG in here is quite good because the MG can actually point out of any side of this bunker. Whereas if you had an MG bunker, which a lot of people want to build, um, thinking it's the best thing, the MG bunker, once you, once you build it instead of a hospital bunker or a repair bunker, um, you can only use this front, um, this front slot here to fire on the enemy. This is all you get. Now able However, to if you put an MG here, you can, enemy is our you can fire Everybody in all directions. Uh, but the other problem with that is, um, we have destroyed an enemy unit. <laughs> well, I'll uh, get onto this in a second. But um, what actually happens um, is that a sniper or uh, even a grenade can take out uh, MG in a bunker like this, except for when you buy a specific MG bunker, then they have to actually destroy it to get you out. So that's just the mechanics of um, how they use them differently. Here we go, here's a big push. So we've got um, two Greyhounds. Uh, one of them's been upgraded with the 50 cal on the roof, the other one hasn't. Now, what have we got up here? We've got my ally with his Pac-38 um, Pac anti-tank gun. There we go. So, one of my um, favourite things to do as a Panzer Elite is to go as um, the uh, Scorched Earth Doctrine, 
And what that allows me to do is it allows me to booby trap um, my resources an enemy points. Um, or it even allows me to booby trap neutral resource points. Cut off. But what that allows me to do is to cause damage to units that are capturing. Now, if you're very good at micro, you can micro your guys away very quickly. And that'll negate a lot of the damage. But if you don't, um, you know, the fire fire here, pushing back, Jump for Belair, losing again, ammunition using the snipers. The they haven't actually lost them, so what I was saying before about them wasting a lot of manpower, I wouldn't buy snipers so early like that, but um, they've kept their snipers alive, which has made it quite effective. Alright, great now I'm going to hit my, um, my half track here. Now, I thought I was going to lose my half track until I built one of these. And I use it as a bit of a, kind of like a uh, red herring, where they're thinking, oh yeah, we're going to damage, we're going to take that out, that'll be handy. An but what's actually happened is I've lured them into a bit of a trap here. So I've got uh, my Mortar 3, or Marta 3, plus an um, anti-tank squad. The enemy advances. A, um, a uh, Grenadier, the enemy has Panzer run. Grenadier squad with the Panzer Shrek, that's what their upgrade is, rather than, um, the 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 enemy. Right, so if we take a look here, that's a uh, full squad of engineers, it's gone down to one, with very little health. I've got my squad here, not doing much, I'm going to focus on elsewhere. There you go, there's a squad of um, airborne, from with supply. the, as you can see, the, 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 the bazooka. Or the recoilless rifle, as they call it, it is the um, rangers actually get the bazooka. Uh, speaking of, these are rangers, heavy, heavy infantry. Um, in red, you can see there at the moment, um, is them being exhausted because they have a sprint um, ability. Here we go, one of them's dropped the bazooka. I'll pick that up later when he retreats. These guys fully upgraded with decent uh, submachine guns, so they get a Tommy gun add on. Um, and devastating even to fully upgraded Panzer Elite, so you've got to be very careful about picking your fights around those guys. There we go, always knowing when to retreat to. So here's the Airborne Specialist Infantry, they get the sprint button as well. These guys can also throw C4, and there you go, there's the exhaust button. So they're not running as quick as um, they would at a normal Target pace. Been secured. Squad ready for orders. All right, we're captured the point. We're holding down quite tightly now. If you take a look, now, um, I'd say it's 60% to 40% map control in our favour, um, but the amount of uh, units remains relatively the same. Now, my ally is doing a wonderful thing here, just keeping things pinned down. He's locking down the front line. Now, if you have a big squad of airborne or, um, or rangers, you can the enemy punch is weakening through here, which even is now. generally what they will do. But he's just got regular infantry. My ally, there he goes, he's got a squad of infantry. The now these guys here, Knights Cross, are ridiculously good, especially fully upgraded. They are the best infantry in the uh, best infantry in the game. Alright, so my guys are using their suppression uh, ability with the oh showing the grenade, and that's what good micro does. I only lost one instead of for the whole squad. So, when you suppress with the Gewehrs, you keep them in the line of sight, you can suppress them fully a lot of the time. There we go. So, we've got a squad of airborne, no recoilless rifles on these guys. And you've got uh, the capturing um, uh, Knight's Cross, which means they're down to, because they only got three um, units uh, in, in the squad, they're only using a third of their cow because you always need one individual not firing to cap the point. That's how that um, mechanic actually works in this. Right, so, here are the allies, they're all pushing out. Now they're in this, they're in this area, he's using his ability um, to bend the part of that. Again, you lose a bit more health when fighting, but you get a lot more in an attack bonus. Take a look here, he's setting up his um, MG-2. Uh, and I've just dropped something with the sector artillery. Takes an absolute huge amount of munitions, 200 muni munitions. But what it effectively does is it denies this sector uh, to any enemy that are coming into it. And as you saw, the artillery drop, and that will continue to drop um, on enemy units that you can see. So if I can't see enemy units in this sector, like this sniper, um, so we might see him here. Yep. Um, so he's gone. 
so if he keeps firing, there might be an RD drop on him. But um, effectively, if these guys get anywhere near this sector, um, you'll see artillery drop on. Look, they've just jumped in. Ah, there you go. So, most Allo commanders, they will see the yellow as well. So they know the sector artillery is there. Um, and Road more experienced now players will know to avoid that like the plague. Because you lose... Um, you lose your army, uh, so tanks, infantry, everything in between will be um, severely impacted. Now, if you can't see units, um, artillery won't drop into the fog of war. So if I turn the fog of war off, we can't see these guys. I'm setting this up, watch this, bang, as soon as we see him. So I'll turn the fog of war back on. He's still bringing them forward. I think he's just realised what's happened. But again, yep, see he's retreating his guys uh, back out of the um, sector. Right, so, now we'll take a quick look at the map here. Sec this map controls swung to about 70-80% in our favour. Um, the Allies are still holding on to this munitions point, so they'll be able to still get uh, potentially um, small arms for their squads, like these Thompson machine guns. But I'm going to make them pay if they try to push out of there like this. Um, I'm going to hold this squad here. The enemy is weakening even now. Okay. Yeah, I'll retreat them. But yeah, there you go. So if I had put the um, booby trap on there, um, that would obviously take them out. Um, but they had seen it, they know what's going on. They'd probably just tap it and run backwards. Over here, my ally is just keeping him on the toes. He's got a uh, black panzer. Very effective against the infantry, especially the on the upgrade side. I think uh, at the moment he's, uh, uh, he hasn't upgraded his uh, heavy tanks. Alright, so the ally's got a Sherman out. Won't do um, any good against the black panzer, won't do any good against that, but the, the pack 38. Four. Yeah, there you go. About six shots with a pack 38 to um, take out a tank. Um, if that pack is um, not upgraded. Alright, allies have just dropped artillery. So usually you'd see a few rep players there, we might miss that. Getting a bit back. I just dropped an artillery on him before. Ah, here we go. Mines. So the allies, this is the allies' versions of dro dropping a booby trap. They get frustrated, they'll put a couple of mines down next to a place that will um, take out infantry. Now here you go. So you've got good use ability here, we've slowed them down. Um, they can use their uh, sprint ability, which will um, make them less likely to be suppressed, but they will get tired again. And again, I keep pulling the mine back until I can see. Here we go. MP44 Assault. Uh, grenadiers, they're coming to the party. They can take these guys on um, quite effectively. The Rangers will still win in a hand to hand, um, in the a uh, one on one fight a with assault grenadiers um, that aren't promoted. There we go, bring it up my Marta 3. Marta 3. And again, just pulling back, allowing the infantry to take on the infantry. There's no point in losing a Marta. To, um, sticky grenades. All right, capping back the points, uh, we have a full squad of airborne with anti-tank rifles. Again, anti-tank rifles um, not particularly good against infantry. Uh, however, as the squad upgrades, they will still become quite effective um, units. Mission complete. And uh, in this game, the Allies and the Axis actually have very different ways of upgrading your units. So like I said before, um, you can pay to upgrade your units using this building here. Um, with the with the um, Panzer Elite, you actually upgrade. Um, so here's a good example. The enemy um, is weakening that's even a, now. The Sergeant upgrade, um, and that upgrades your infantry, f allows your infantry to upgrade faster. And as you can see here. With the Panzer Elite, their upgrade method is um, as they 
uh, get more experience, you can add a defensive mark or, a, or an offensive mark to each one the of enemy these has cut down units, an infantry and you unit. can add up to three of them, um, the and that of makes them exceptionally um, potent. If you see, if you see, for example, a squad of um, these guys here. These are um, heavy assault infantry with MP44s, and they've got three um, uh, assault markers above them rather than defensive markers. They are the best infantry in the game. Um, they can probably take on Knight's Cross um, in their base, in their uh, base form. Okay, so here's the fighting. Again, they're just trying to push us back. Bit by bit. I think at this stage they know they've lost. Alright, here we go. There's the, yep. They're just trying to um, hold us out of their base at this point. Um, I congratulate them for uh, holding on. I enjoy it a lot more, and I think a lot of players enjoy it a lot more when people don't just quit when this happens because you can pull back a win from even this situation. So, for example, if you had some decent artillery um, stored up, you could take all this out, rush, capture all this, pushing right back before we could react. Um, however, that's not what's going to happen in this case. Uh, we've got the pin everywhere, they know what's happening. Uh, here's my infantry. Ah, something for, um, I'll say newer players, but something for players to realise is that uh, the Panzer Elite get two types of grenades. They get an anti tank grenade and they get a. Um, a and if you use an anti-tank grenade on um, on buildings, on machine gun emplacements, you can actually destroy them very effectively. What I see a lot of new players doing though is starting to play grenades, thinking that will get rid of the, um, get rid of the um, buildings quicker. No, that doesn't work. Use them specifically on infantry or building, um, infantry buildings. That's where you use the um, platform grenades. Again, yeah, we're keeping them in, we're rushing in, we're trying to just take them out as much as we can. Um, this here is the um, triage sensor, that's what's healing these guys. You can see the little uh, crosses above them, um, which is making it a lot more difficult to actually take out the fire squad. Uh, what we're waiting on, if I can see it, there we go, GG to them. They know, I know it's pretty much over at this point. I think by um, what we would probably want is uh, the artillery piece that comes with um, my doctrine. The, um, okay, yep, back to base, healing up. Um, my HQ has an ability to heal all nearby units. That doesn't happen for the Wehrmacht and the Allies get triage centers for that. But yeah, in my um, Doctrine, one of the last abilities, much powerful, you get three very, very uh, effective artillery pieces on the map that take up a lot of um, a lot of uh, pop, pop captures. In the bottom here is the enemy will armor. never be able to match the efficiency of our support. So that just structure. shows you how efficient um, my team can be. But yeah, they take up a fair bit of pop cap, but you can um, just arty their base into submission. There we go. So I've locked down this with the um, scout car. I don't usually do that, but this one hadn't been locked Attention, down in my ally. Here we go. Oof. Have destroyed an enemy unit. Entire unit. So that's what I think it's about four, five hundred for a um, ammunition stores for a drop attack. of um, paratroopers. Plus these guys had um, the recoilless uh, uh, rifles, anti-tank rifles. So they've lost a lot of munitions there. They haven't got much left. Uh, again, just doing his thing, holding back here. We are losing a sector. Another sector being captured again. He's not paying attention. Gone. An enemy unit has fallen to our line. Yeah, we're just trying to take out um, a few bedrooms here, a few bedrooms there as we can. 
rushing in, rushing in. I mean, this is a very long way of doing it. By this stage, you should really have tanks. Um, but tanks and the infantry can do the job. The tanks find themselves completely destroyed by the uh, rangers. So we're just pulling back here. I've got my um, got another half track now. Um, again, you can see a lot of these guys, they're uh, injured, so they've got the assault and the. Um, defensive uh, marker on them. A lot of these guys are injured but they haven't actually lost any um, units within but they'll just, if they continue to take damage Self they will artillery start losing, um, losing people within the squads. Again, it's built another um, hospital bunker very useful. You can actually also use that to um, uh, heal these units. That costs him munitions so. Again, I've dropped the um, the sector artillery. Here we go, here's the Hummel 150mm self propelled Halwitzer, that's the artillery pieces. I've just used that. Where are we? Here he comes, he's moving up. He is very slow. Um, and if they get caught out in the open by it, pretty much anything that can do damage to vehicles, they are gone. So you've got to protect them. I think at this point I was just getting a bit frustrated that they're holding on. Um, as well as they were, and I was just like, nope, oh, here's enough of it. Here we go, we'll see what kind of damage this bad boy can do. Rolling up. You can actually see the shells coming. There you go. I really want this triage center card so they can stop that. Uh, there we go. They're absolutely devastating, especially the infantry. That's artillery is designed to be. Um, as these guys um, upgrade to the um, artillery pieces upgrade, they fight. They can fire a bit further. I think they get another round or so, and they um, they're just the damage. And there's a rocket drop from my ally. He's just done it amount of damage we pretty much just wiped out any kind of resistance that they can have and at that stage you really just want to rush everything again you probably see me throw grenades if not just take them yep there you go gone so those are the entertainment grenades now my infantry are not good at taking out uh, buildings that's the rockets on the arms in which case the enemy is moving on either and now Clearing out the uh, enemy infantry rushing to their base allows the Pentatrex to uh, do their work. So here we go, Perro. This guy here, Perro's gone. Um, selling again, good game. Uh, this game actually got quite toxic. Still is in some ways. Um, here we go. And that's pretty much it. Uh, got quite toxic about five years ago, which is why I left it. But um, now that I've come back, a couple of the diehards are still there, and I enjoy playing them. Uh, but yeah, it's just one of those games that kind of waxes and wanes um, as it becomes more and less popular. But again, I'm playing this because uh, the third game's coming out soon. I've played a bit of the second, which I've uploaded, and uh, yeah, it's. Uh, just a game that I've uh, played a lot of and I'm enjoying sharing it with you. I will upload again in probably another hour um, after this one because I've got so many um, saved games that um, I can use now um, against other players, multiplayers, and then eventually, once we've gone through these, I will start playing games live um, again. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for uh, watching. Um, I hope this comes out alright again. I'm using OBS for the first time, so fingers crossed. And uh, we'll see you later.